have the 2014 Ninja 1000 ABS. So even though it looks kind of quite like a touring bike, underneath this shell is something very sporty indeed. It loves corners, it rails them very well. It's a big bike, but it still feels really agile. It's light to throw around. Like I said, loves corners. So it's a very versatile motorcycle. It's, it's really aimed at that rider who still wants sporty motorcycle, but is also wants the practicality of something that's touring. This is a great motorcycle for that. You've got these really comfortable upright bars. You can go long distance, no fatigue, but you've got these panniers at the back. You can carry your uh, belongings with you. You can stick your missus on the back, however it rolls. It's got a thousand cc engine here. It's got so much power. I mean, instant drivability right off the bat, instant throttle response. It's slightly improved with the bottom and mid range power increase there with a the new cam and, and throttle bodies. The exhaust system is a four into two system. That's also got great growth coming from the engine. The new tail section, the subframe is lighter. It accommodates also the panniers really well. It really integrates nicely into the bike. They look great on or off. So new for this year, primarily also is in the suspension. It's got an external preload adjuster here on the outside of the bike. Now, what does that mean? It actually means that you can adjust the spring, the way that the bike works and absorbs the, all of the bumps. And also when you have passengers on the bike or you have these full, the, with more weight to the bike, so you can increase the spring. You can put more tension into the spring. It allows you to then carry weight, carry passengers and not really notice that too much as a, as a rider. The panniers are a good size. They will take a full size crash helmet, no problem. Plenty of storage space there for luggage. <clears throat> like I said, the best bit is that you can just take these off. Really simple, a nice um, mechanism here from Kawasaki is just take these off and look at that motorcycle. I mean, it still keeps its lines. It's still a very good looking motorcycle. Very ninja, very Kawasaki, very aggressive styling through here. And they've integrated these passenger rails really nicely that even when you've got the pannier on or the pannier off, still looks really a part of the motorcycle. So Kawasaki have really done a great job of styling this motorcycle, keeping the sporty styling, the short exhaust system, being able to show off the awesome swinging arm. It's a sporty look, very Kawasaki, very ninja. Like I said, huge amounts of power from the engine. And uh, to allow you to uh, regulate that, they have now two power modes. You've got low mode and full power. Low mode, it's not as low as you think. It just caps off the initial top of the horsepower to 70% uh, of full power. It's just the same right off the bottom, a little less mid-range, 70% less power at the top. You've also now got three levels of uh, traction control. Three is the one that allows the least amount of slip as you come through down to one, um, it's still going to catch anything that goes wrong and then you can turn it off. Uh, you've also got ABS, but that's fully on all of the time. You don't have the option to turn the ABS off. However, it does work well. And uh, the brakes here with Kawasaki are absolutely amazing. Instant stopping power. Not too aggressive, but I've only been using one finger on the brake here and it seems to be more than enough, but you can regulate it well with feel, so I, it's not over braked. You've also got an adjustable screen. You've got three uh, modes of that right down at the bottom, mid and then high if you're touring. I found lots of motorway miles that I was doing. I wanted it to be fully up, give myself as much protection as possible. When we've been on the more sportier roads, I've just lowered that down. It's something that you have to do when you've come to a stop on the bike because it's kind of like a left hand uh, adjustment. You can't really do that while you're riding. But anyway, great to have some adjustment there in the screen. It doesn't alter the looks. Again, very aggressive ninja styling throughout. And uh, I've really enjoyed my time on this bike. It's a, it's a bike that's really, really versatile. It's going to suit anybody for everyday riding throughout the city. It's got canyon capabilities and track capabilities, and then capabilities also to go long distance touring. It's a great motorcycle. It's a great addition to the Kawasaki range, and I think they'll do very well with it.